Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, September 4th, 1136 AM. We are dog sitting for a bit. Hi. Um, back from dropping the kids off and we're going to take crazy pants for a walk. Maybe we can get her to burn off some energy. I doubt it, but maybe. All right, I'll be back. It's Monday morning, September. Uh, it's 9.54 a.m. September 5th, I think. Let's boot up the cute Peter and find out. Yes, September 5th. Um, anyway, we slept in a little bit, which is all cool. Um, everybody's been fed their breakfast, including Lily. Uh, Bob is in the shower getting dressed. Obviously, you can see my hair is wet. I'm already dressed. Um, we're going to take her for a WALK in a minute when he's done. In the meantime, I've been sending out text messages to the kids about reminders and things I need to put on the calendar, I think. Um, it's going to be a pretty quiet, chill week, which is good. Uh, Bob is leaving this weekend to go down to California um, to um, see some friends, but also his mother who has fallen and hurt herself again, and she's in care. Um, so I'm going to be here with crazy pants by myself, which is fine. Um, and Be uh, Rebecca and Paulius are in Lithuania as we speak. They landed safely, so yay. Um, yeah, otherwise I'm not going to plan like an excess amount of stuff for myself this week. Um, my anxiety is like kind of under control. Um, I normally would be a basket pace case about Rebecca traveling. Um, especially to a foreign country, um, but she's with Polyus and um, my anxiety is, you know, it's never going to be completely like normal. I don't know what that is, but it's under control. And I know she's with Polyus and he's going to keep her safe and happy and healthy and so all that. She's not there by herself. Like when she went to school in Spain, that was like, ah. anyway, um, <laughs> um, so that's all good. But yeah, I'm not going to actually push myself too far. I'm going to let myself like just chill this week. Um, I have some editing and stuff to do, of course, because it's Monday and writing, but it is Labor Day. It's a holiday. Bob is off. So I think before we do anything else, we're going to do the WALK and we're going to, I don't know, maybe go for a drive or something. I will get the editing and writing done at some point, but it doesn't need to be done like the second. I may do the writing first and then I can just leave the editing, something like that while he's getting dressed. All right. Enough blathering on this morning. Let's get to it. I'll be back. I think we have a little friend that's decided to wait for Mr. Bob to feed him his dinner. He doesn't look very old. Hi, baby. But evidently we're a safe place. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Good morning. It is almost 10 a.m. Tuesday, September 6th. And I am just now getting my day started. <laughs> I have laundry going downstairs. I'm going to download all the vlog footage from last week to the computer and get it edited. Yesterday was a holiday, so I didn't do it on my normal Monday. Um, we are getting pictures in from the kids from their visit to Lithuania. Gorgeous views, gorgeous country, beautiful blue skies. It looks great. Anyway, they're having a good time. They got there safely. Yay. Um, okay. I guess things aren't going to edit themselves, so I better get started. Yeah, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. 
it is, what time is it? 9.41 a.m. Wednesday, September something. I don't know. Hold on. I was going to say September 8th, but it's September 7th. It's out there. Um, anyway, we are out and about. Um, <laughs> we are out. I've got a handful of errands to run. Bob is going to visit his mother this weekend um, in California and it's going to just be me and the dog so I need to go run a few errands before he leaves on Friday. So I'm going to go do those now and I need to go water the kids plants and stuff like that. So we're going to go get all that done. Um, it's been quite the day. I spent most of the morning running five million errands Right now, if you hear that noise in the background and you see that, it's because the robot vacuum is AKA Hazel. She's doing her thing and um, cleaning the floor for me. I love Hazel very much. Um, I reorganized a few more things upstairs, some stickers and things. Um, Also made a few of my own stickers, some DIY printables for myself, not anything I can sell. Um, I do think I'm gonna scan one of my distressed dictionary pages from the old dictionaries that I always have around that art room. And I think I'm gonna turn the sheet into stickers. Sounds like a good idea to me, right? I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, and then I'm kind of traveling around with my sketchbook and my journal and I want to put a little bit of that. I don't have to worry about having a glue stick because it's a sticker. Kind of like that idea. I can't let the idea go. I'm going to go dig out some dictionary paper and print it on some, to some label paper. I can do that without turning my computer on, just using the printer. It's, it's a good idea. All right, let's go try it. Hang on to the right sheet of dictionary paper to do that with. Bigger drawers in my small bits bank have um, bigger stuff in them. And so one of them has dictionary paper, plain and magazine paper. I think some of it is distressed. Yes, it is. So I'm thinking we do one that's not distressed. I like this one because I like the little mushroom on there. And then I have some down here that's been distressed and has some of my stencils on it. And other people's stencils, let's see. I also have fun to just have coffee. Okay. I'm not really feeling the red one. We'll put the red one back. It's still probably too many, but that's, that's okay. All right. So we put all these away. Now we'll be able to put these back in the drawer when we're done, because we're basically just going to make copies of them. So my printer does have the feature of just basically using it as a copy machine. So that's what we're going to do. Hang on. Now to find the labels I want to use. Okay, I think I'm gonna do small and smaller. Uh, labels, these are clear and they're just little strips. That would be okay, I think. I don't know exactly. I'm gonna use what I pulled out. I'm gonna go with it, okay. So, first things we do is put the sheet face down. <clears throat> now, the only problem with doing this is it's going to copy it. I have limited capabilities of having it fill the page. I 
I should have my glasses on for this. And maybe a chair. I can make it fit the entire page. Yay, okay. Confirm. We're gonna do two of them because I'm gonna do one on that and one on the clear. Ha ha. Color. And now I can just do that. I love it. Okay. DIY stickers. It is my new thing. I'm gonna get all these done and I'll be back. Guys. You guys. I think this might be my new favorite thing. Wow. I do lots of like daily sketch practice and stuff with quotes and like simple doodles and stuff like every day. I usually don't do it in the art room. I usually do it downstairs. Um, and I usually always use dictionary paper and stuff like that, but then I have to have a glue stick and if I'm away from home and I wanna do it wherever I'm at, then that's kind of a pain and this is a great idea. Oh my God. You can get sometimes old packs of Avery labels or off-brand labels at the thrift store. Um, I've found them at um, the Habitat of Humani for Humanity Restore, um, at Savers, at Goodwill for like a couple bucks. You don't have to buy brand new. They can be kind of pricey. Um, maybe you have, like me, you've got an old stash of them from back in the day. like. I keep, I moved and I kept all the labels. Um, use them, get them out. You don't have to use them for traditional labels. Why can't you do something like this? All right, I'm gonna figure out how to fold these up so they're smaller uh, in size and I can fit them in my little bag of stickers downstairs and I'll be back. I got them done. And I printed enough that I have a stash. This is just part of what I printed, which is fine. Um, and I don't have to print them all the time. But I am so happy I did those. It was such a good idea. At least I think so. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna go watch some YouTube. I'll be back. Hey everybody, it is Thursday, September 8th. It is just after 10 a.m. And I had to reformat the list of video links for the patrons and supporters. So for those that don't know, the patrons and supporters have their own private YouTube channel, videos which cannot be found if you don't have the links. And um, anyway, yeah, so I had to reformat that so that it made more sense to them <laughs> because, you know, I did it the way my brain wanted to do it and it only made sense to me. <laughs> anyway, there were a couple of things at the store that I couldn't find yesterday because they were out of stock or I didn't know we needed like milk. So I'm gonna head back over to the store this morning. Probably just go to Safeway because it's close. Um, I could walk there, but one of the things is dog food and I don't want to walk back with a big giant bag of dog food. So anyway, okay. I got some more stuff. <laughs> She saw a squirrel. Got some more stuff organized today. I got all my errands done. Uh, got some chores done. I was sitting down to look up a couple things I needed to look up on the internet and the little girls from next door came over to chat, um, which led to me bringing Lily outside because they love to see the dog. They brought me some homegrown carrots and um, that led to us taking Lily out for a walk. <laughs> at least a short one even though Bob's got um, meetings and stuff tonight so we're gonna go do that 
I'll be back. Hi everybody, it's 9.08 a.m. Friday, September 9th, I think. Lily and I, Lily, there she is, you see her. Um, we have just dropped off Grandpa at the airport. Okay, this is not something I do much, but we're back from the airport. I had the rest of my breakfast. Lily's a little depressed and doesn't want to eat her breakfast, but anyway. I'm taking her for a walk by myself. I don't do that often. She's a strong dog. But anyway, we're going to go get it done and get some steps in. I'll be back. I had visits from the neighbor girls next door. They brought Mr. Bob um, some candy and they brought me a doll because they know I put the little toys they give me into my plants. This time it was a large Barbie doll. I think it's the girl from Frozen. Um, I don't really have a plant big enough for her, but I stuck her, here's a picture. I put her here with this little succulent. Anyway, um, I spent the afternoon and finally finished this sketchbook. Um, I share the sketches I do in here um, right away with patrons and supporters, and then eventually you all see them. So if you'd like to see the kind of sketches I do, let me flip forward to one that I've already showed in my Instagram and stuff. Hold on. This one's already been on there. So if you'd like to see these and follow me, you can follow me on Instagram or other social media. All my all that stuff is in my link tree list of links down below. Anyway, I have, this is number six. Um, I don't remember when I started these, but I think it was like last summer. Um, so it's been about a year, um, I think. I'm actually not really sure. I just looked Hold it up. On. So this was my first one. Um, that I did as I whack myself in the face. Um, and I started it July 4th, 2021. So it's been about a year. And here's my stack. Got a new one downstairs, all set and ready to go. Anyway, I got the current one done, yay. Um, I got a few chores done, but nothing big. Mostly I just sat and sketched all day. And the girls came by, they're so cute. Um, some other little girls came by, they're doing some kind of fundraiser for school. I asked them to come back next week. I'm here alone with nut job. Can you see her little head there on the floor over there in grandpa's office? Cause she's all mad cause he's not here. Anyway, um, they can come back next week. I asked them to come back. Bob loves to like do school, like donations and stuff and all that. So I'm going to let him do that. Um, he was always that guy um at his old office he still works for the same company but at the old office anytime any of his co-workers had um and not just at the current company but his old he used to work for Hewlett Packard and um when he worked there too um anytime they were doing fundraisers they all knew go ask Bob because he was always the guy that would buy like eight boxes of Girl Scout cookies and you know all the things he was always coming home with some sort of school fundraiser thing I don't know anyway Um, so I'm going to check on the desktop, which I actually haven't done at all today. I've just, again, been sketching. You've seen the little clip. Um, yep, I'm gonna check on the desktop and then I'm gonna turn it off and we'll go back downstairs. I've got some cleaning up to do down there and it's almost time for dinner. Okay, it's almost 9.30 and it's still weirdly yellowy hazy outside, which means smoke from some of the fires that are going uh, on in Oregon right now, probably more than likely. 
Um, but <clears throat> before it gets any worse, and yeah, I'm already wanting to clear my throat, but you know, I've got this. Um, I need to grab a cough drop. I need, <laughs> I need to go water the kids' plants and stuff, and I need to go to Target. Yeah, I need. <laughs> I made a list so I wouldn't forget. So I need to go water their plants and check their mail and then I need to go to Target. I've got some medication to pick up and stuff like that. So we may not be walking today. If the air quality is like this, I'm gonna stay inside. I'll be back. As you saw, I've got clear coats going on the two finished paintings and I have these two canvases I'm going to do um, a painting on, a two-part painting, they'll hang side by side. I don't exactly know what it's going to be, but I think it's going to be very abstract, but I wanted to paint a black background, so we went with that because I'm painting how I feel, right? All right. I was about to post my um, art posts and things for the day and realized I haven't closed the vlog yet. So Lily and I are here on the couch again. We have gotten some chores and things done once I got home from doing errands, but the air quality went from 77 to 104. Which is not good. So we ended up having to stay in the house. I got a few things done. I got, um, well, if you're watching this, you saw that. I got a background of black on a couple of canvases. I got the two other canvases clear coated and signed and all that jazz. And yes, they're for sale. If you're interested in any of the paintings I have for sale, message me. My email's down below. I'll put some pictures here of all the ones that are for sale. Um, anyway, we are going to do our posts and sit here and stream some um, TV shows. I've been watching Royal Pain, which is a TV show. I guess it was on from 2009 to like 2016. I've never heard of it before. And I don't know if it was straight to the internet show or if it was on one of the network. I don't know, but I am fascinated. So I've been watching that and I have a book I'm going to read and... You know, I got some chores done that needed doing and all that stuff. We've got our, because of the air quality, you can see that thing right there. Our little HEPA filter thing going. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway. 
But anyway, it's been a good week despite all that. It's been a fun week. And um, Bob comes home tomorrow. I can't wait. I don't sleep well when he's not home. But anyway, that's for next week's vlog. So I hope you've all had a great week. I hope you've made some great art, that you've had fun, that you're doing things that make you happy, that you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Lily Bean and I are here, going to sit here on the couch and cuddle, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys.